Good evening, everybody. Meeting again in the organization session. Yesterday, we have discussed regarding the one of the important topics in the homeopathy. That is the role of diet and regimen while treating with the homeopathic medicines. From aphorism number 259 and 260. And Dr. Samuel Hanneman, he has explained that any anything in the diet which has a medicinal value generally should be avoided while taking the allopathic medicine, homeopathic medicine. Because it antidotes many times or sometimes it interferes with the action of medicine and this is the one of the important possibility. Then he explains it is not only the medicine which medicinal content which is important, but there are many, many factors which affect the action of medicine. He has explained the importance of coffee, the deodorants, the strong smelling bottles, the perfumes. There are many more which affect directly the action of medicine. But out of which tobacco and coffee, which I practically observed that it antidotes the action of medicine. Generally, when I used to consider or I want to um, remove the action of medicine, I asked the patient to take a strong cup of coffee and which immediately vanishes the action of previous drug. I asked him to take it once or twice and then I, if I want to shift towards the other remedy, then I think to um, I always ask to take the coffee and thereafter I start the medicine next day. So the, this is the... this. Definitely has a practical value. Tobacco and tobacco are products which affect the action, alters the action of medicine. Second important thing, many times patient, you select very perfect remedy and still it never works. There are many more obstacles in the process of recovery and out of which these habits are plays a very vital role. And that's why you have to watch what are the habits of the patient. Diet and daily routine. Many a times, many disorders are related with the daily routine. Today morning, only one patient was there with severe asymptotic trouble and he used to sleep very late at night. Yes, I asked him how to treat you. It is not possible. Unless and until you change your habits, it is not possible. He says, I am not getting sleep. Why, do, why don't you get never get sleep? He says, I used to use mobile. Asked him to off the mobile at 10 o'clock and start it after your sleep in the morning and do your do one thing common that for three consecutive days you specifically wake up at five o'clock or six o'clock and don't sleep in the afternoon. I'm damn sure that you'll get sleep early in the evening. You can go to the bed 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, very easy. And this is possible. You have to tell the patient exactly. It is just saying that uh, you, you sleep early and don't, uh, don't remain, don't make a habit of night watching, etc. To tell this, it is not the answer. You have to tell what exactly he should do. If you explain them, yes, this you have to follow, in this way you have to do, then you can do it. Then patient follows. This is my and my aspect of using. And generally, I whenever I used to tell, I used to tell them, if you want to continue treatment, this you have to follow. I'm quite rigid and strict regarding certain things. Unless and until you are rigid, it is not possible. There are thousands of patients who left the tobacco habit, mystery habit, smoking habit, alcoholic habit, just because, because I was very rigid regarding their treatment. I used to tell, don't come otherwise to me. I will not allow, I will not give you next time medicine. I generally, whenever patient comes for follow-up and he says that I am still using tobacco once or twice, I say, don't uh, take homeopathy. Go and whenever it is possible, when, if you feel you want to live, then only come to me. I'm rigid because, because I know that if he will continue with that habit, he will not going to get cured and then he will blame homeopathy. I have taken homeopathy and I have never got the result. So this, this happens. 
So you should be very rigid regarding all those things and strict about them, you know, strict and tell them directly that I will not going to use this. I will not going to prescribe for you. And these are the very important hints which he has explained. And second important thing that regimen plays a very important role. You have to follow what is his daily regimen, how he follows his daily routine, what regarding his exercise, whether he spends exercise, he spend time for exercise or not. Because, because modern era, the people are more sedentary workers. I used to tell them that one hour you have to spend for yourself and rest 23 hours are there, then you manage your timetable. And that one hour is for the purpose of health. What has happened? The today's era is disease oriented. Homeopathy explains you should be health oriented. It is your duty to tell them what is health. And then it is possible. And that's why animal use lot of importance to these two aphorisms which we have learned. Now we'll go further and he tells about regime and all <coughs> Aphorism 261. The most appropriate regimen during the employment of medicine in chronic diseases consists in the removal of such obstacles to the recovery and in supplying where necessary the reverse, innocent, moral and intellectual recreation, active exercise in the open air, in almost all kinds of weather, daily walks, slight manual labor, Suitable, nutritious, unmedicinal food and drink. <laughs> so basically, he has mentioned what exactly what exactly one should do when he wants to explain about the regimen, he explains the same thing and I used to follow the same thing in my practice. These are very essential when you have to treat the chronic disease. There are many people who are sedentary workers. You ask them, what, what do you do? What exercise do you do? He says that, no, I, I'm not doing anything. Why? No, I just wakes up at late and there is no time. I ask generally, at what time do you wake? He says that at 8 o'clock. I ask him just wake one hour early, 7 o'clock and go for a walk. Either go for a walk, either go for cycling, either go for running, either do yoga, either do Surya Namaskar. Then you have to tell them, yes, this is very important. And when once you are telling them, you should follow yourself. Otherwise, you don't have a right to tell them. Whenever I used to tell anyone regarding it, I used to follow it. I myself follow this in my life. I'm running 55. I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Either I walk for 6 kilometers a day, either do cycling for 22 kilometers, or either do 108 Surya Namaskar, I am following you. Then I have a right to tell them, yes, you have to follow it. And then people follow. That is what is he is explaining. That is very important. Active exercise in open air in almost all kinds of weather. So the most important part is open air. I ask them to do a cycling for one hour. And what do they do? They purchase the cycle which is there inside the house and that indoor cycling they used to do. This is the common habit. This is not useful. That cycling never gives you the result which active cycling in open air makes a difference. Because in open air, the weather is clear. If you do it early in the morning, no pollution is there and you breathe a very good of plain air full of oxygen that gives you a confidence that gives you a strong feeling you never get drowsy in the afternoon once you do a one hour exercise your capacity to work hard increases 
I have followed it since long time and I'm I am observing, yes, this is the reason I can do a lot of work in my life. I never get exhausted because of it. So you you have to tell exactly what they should do. So active exercise in the open air in almost all kinds of weather. All kinds of weather. There are many, many Mm, um, obstacles are there when you ask, are you doing your exercise? No doctor because of rain sign never goes. You should have an option. If you if rains are there, you should not go out but you can do indoor exercises. Go for a surinamska regularly. Go on increasing and whenever you have to tell regarding the exercise, ask them that do it gradually. If you are you have if you want to start Surinamskar on day one it is one next day two next day three you have to go on increasing gradually same is true if you ask the patient to go for a walk don't ask them to walk directly for forty five minutes ask them that on day one you just go five minutes and return five minutes ten minutes is sufficient next day increase one by one so next day twelve minutes then fourteen minutes. So, it never affects the problem. It never creates the turmoil. And then patient follows it. So, whatever it may be you are telling, you must guide them how to do that. So, and there should be an option. If one exercise, if you, if you cannot do because of time limit, then you should follow the another. So, there should be options. And those options play a very vital role. So, <clears throat> daily walks, he explained daily walks is very important. If you are walking at least 6,000 uh, feet, you can walk per day, minimum, minimum. If you are female, you, you must do 5,500. If you are a male, you must do it more than 7,000 to 7,500. That is more important. That those must have steps. You must walk in day. If you are If you are doing cycling, at least 45 minutes to one hour, cycling is very much necessary. The third exercise which you can do is um, running. That is also, but if you are young enough, you go for running. If you are not young enough, avoid the running because otherwise you degenerate the joints. So it is always better to go for a brisk walk. So all those things matter a lot. So he explained that. Before that, what he is explaining is very important. Innocent moral and intellectual cre creation. Both things. Moral. What is moral? Yes. You must follow the moral thing. Moral, naitik. You must do it yourself first. You should be strong enough regarding certain things. I used to go for uh, regular camps. Since nearly about 17 years, we have done the homeopathic camps at specific places. And we used to reach over there just exactly 7.30. And we used to start it at 8 o'clock. So we have to start right from Zangamner at 8, 5.30. And we are too punctual that people when comes for the treatment over there, they tell me, that doctor, when we are packing up, you are there in here. This is too important. You follow certain moral things, then people will start following the moral. Moral is very important. What you follow, you ask them to follow. This is too important. And you follow the right things, the people will follow the right things. So, and innocent. Innocent word is again important. What is innocence? Innocence means niragas. There is nothing wrong inside your mind. Whatever you are telling is plenty for the benefit of others is always innocent. And one must enjoy the innocence. It is nothing but the id which is explained by the um, uh, id, ego and um, super ego concept of the Sigmund Freud. That id is nothing but the innocence. The children who are innocent enough, you know, there, there is a eat. Whatever they feel, they enjoy. The moment they get angry, they get hungry, they get start sleeping. So they are behaving innocently. When you are not in the society, your behavior should be innocent so that you can enjoy the moment. 
you must forget your ego certain times and that is an innocence so that is more important innocent moral and intellectual recreation intellectual word he has used specifically intellectual means whenever you are doing any activity you must think before doing it if someone ask you to go for a walk then you must think what is the benefit of a walk because you have an intelligence intellectual character should be utilized by human being we never utilize this intellectual character the peoples in india they are more of a character of doing imitation and mimicry that is more important from they forget that they have an intellect the european peoples the russian peoples they used to take a beer tea because they remains in cold climate the climate is so cold that many times it is minus degree temperature is there and because of which in whenever they wakes up to get an energy to get a heat bodily heat they takes the tea as a hot warm drink what do we do we remain sir in such a area where early in the morning the heat is there and still we copy the european peoples and we take a bed tea a fashion what has happened we left the intellect outside we never utilize our intellect so this is what hanuman wants to explain that intellectual aspect is very important over there that also you have to develop with the patient tell them if they are not following then you have to explain them that you do you have an intellect then why do you take a tea bed tea tell them the reason behind it. so that is more important intellectual character should be developed over there there should be a recreation you tell them exactly the details if you want to ask them if patient of a diabetes comes to you when you are talking with him then you have to explain what is the importance of taking meals only two times a day what is exactly happens when you take diet two times a day and what happens if you go on taking it again and again four times a day tell them exactly what is the what are the processes physiological processes which happens inside your body if you explain them on the page tell them exactly what will going to happen how that insulin will going to get secreted whenever you consume the carbohydrate and if you don't consume in between how the next hormone from the alpha cells the glucagon comes how it dissolves the fat how it produces the sugar over there all those things you have to explain once you explain this intellectual thing they follows they say that no one have told us doctor this this is what is called as an intellectual recreation in the people that is more important if you ask the patient to do a certain exercise tell them the logic behind it why you are asking him to do a certain exercise you have to ask specifically you have to increase the quadriceps capacity you have to explain the if patient is suffering from osteoarthritis you are asking him to do the quadriceps exercises tell them that if you do this exercise your quadriceps will get strengthened so that the weight which goes through the bones the little bit of or half of it transmits to your muscles and there will be no pressure on your joint then automatically the pain will reduce if you tell them the intellectual reason and increase their intellect intellect by telling them the details then definitely patient follows i used to give time to the patient i used to spend the time with the patient and i follow this hanemanian concept i like this and i utilize this i used to tell every aspect to the patient when we i deal with the chronics not with the acutes acutes you don't have to tell anything but chronics yes definitely you have to understand patient this is an ask, ask him detail i used to give much more even on my prescription pad on the back side of it i have written the diet chart i it has been there explained over there in detail 
just a minute, I will show. First, let's turn. Turn, turn. This page is there with me. It, it, you can uh, you get it opposite because it is mirror picture. But everything is written over there on this page. So what one should eat, what one should not do, eat, how he should follow the daily regime. Everything is there on my prescription. I used to tell them, yes, this is how you have to follow. And I put it in file and ask them, this is what you have to follow. If you forget, open that again. This is so important. Then you will definitely get the result, early result, what you expect and a patient expects. And this is what is called as a diet and regime in concept of the Hanuman. So what is this? Innocent moral and intellectual recreation, active exercise in the open air in almost all kinds of weather, daily walks, slight manual labor, suitable, nutritious, Unmedicinal food and drink. Suitable, that is more important. Suitable means, suitable is, means it is according to his native place. What, what uh, comes out over there? What is their daily food which develops over there? So the South Indian people, the rice comes out more. That's why there is a habit of using more rice. And in that specific area, they depends upon that. That is their suitable diet. If you ask southern people that they should eat the roti, it, it never gets digested over there. And exactly opposite, you can get it. If you go to the north and ask them to eat more rice, they never follow. They like more milk and milk products. So this is this is according to their specific native places. You, you must ask them exactly what type of diet is suitable for them and accordingly you have to tell them. So suitable words is related with that. The nutritious, yes, definitely. If, if you follow, if you take the detailed case and if you fi find that patient is having certain specific mm, mm, uh, deficiencies and accordingly you have to select his diet, and you have to ask them what exactly they should eat. What has happened in today's era, specifically when you treat the children, they don't have a habit of taking the vegetables in diet. This has been lost. And it has been lost because, because of chocolates. Then there are many mm, burgers or pizzas. Or there are many cheese atoms which are there or Chinese atoms are there. It looks tasty to the food, to the tongue, but it, it never is, is. It is not nutritious. You have to explain exactly what is nutritious diet. What they should take. I ask all the children, avoid the um, food atoms which comes in sealed pack because Preservatives are added over there and these preservatives has the capacity to alter the human state of health and produces the disorder. So one should not go for it. So you, you have to explain. Instead of that, they should take the almonds. They should take the dates. They should take the cashew nuts. You have to explain all those things to the patient and ask them and give the importance of uh, those atoms, which what they cause is tell them children that it will give you strength. Then they follow. So you have to explain the utility of it. So suitable, nutritious, unmedicinal food. That is again one important thing. There are many food atoms which are adulterated with the many medicinal content sometimes a lot of vitamins are extra added for certain things are added that then it it disturbs their action so it should be as good as as natural as it should be so that that will be very useful for the patient so it should not be adulterated with medicines and same thing it is not only the food as well as drink that should be nutritious healthy according to his disorder, according for good for his health. 
all things you have to tell. Many a times people ask that we used to drink a lot of that thumbs up, Coca-Cola and all those things. Tell them they, they are the best insecticide. Tell them clearly what it causes. How much insecticides are added over there as a preservative. And this is very harmful for the body. So, whatever, whenever you are dealing with any variety of the case or variety of the patient, this is one of the important part. And that's why aphorism number 261 is very, very important for the homeopathic management. Whatever may be the patient this is, it doesn't matter. In this daily regimen and diet, you have to explain to the patient. So, that's all for today. And you have to you learn about it more from different different books. For the purpose of learning this, I have done the naturopathy diploma where I learned a lot of things from the naturopathy and which are essential. You have to take with what is important and what is logical that we can add in our practice. So that helps a lot. So that's what for today's session, we have learned only a diet and daily regimen, a practical aspect explained by animal. Um, if Mm, any queries are there, we'll have a chance to discuss or otherwise we'll conclude and meet tomorrow again with the next further aphorism. Onion and garlic hinders the action. Onion and garlic never directly hinders the action. This is my suggestion. If you are giving puja, then you should be very cautious regarding the onion. Onion disturbs the action of puja. So I never tell everyone that they should not take the onion and garlic. Only whenever I used to give the thuja, yes, I definitely tell them regarding the onion. Garlic, I never says. It never happens. In fact, it is useful when they use the garlic. It doesn't matter so much. This is my understanding. Or When I used to use practice, I never tell. So I used to tell them regarding two important things. That is coffee and tobacco. 100% I used to ask. Yes, anything else? If any other query is there? So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll meet at the same time. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone. Thanks for sir. We'll meet again tomorrow. And to, um, today, Evening, it is not possible to conduct a seminar part of it uh, because I was too busy since morning. Uh, so not possible to conduct seminar or remaining part of forum. Uh, whenever time permits in this week, I will ask or I will tell it on group. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.